if you have seven departments and everybody's bringing everything up to you all the time, you're calling the shot. You're saying, hey, make sure you do this and make sure you do that. That doesn't make for smooth transition between the departments because you're sitting over the top of them. So what you want is you want your departments to be able to communicate to each other. Now, how you do that is you have to create a framework for your team to be able to work through that. And what that looks like is right now your client is people who produce podcasts, right? But now we need to create an internal client. So I'll just give an example. Our marketing department doesn't really have to talk to the client too much. So they are protected by the client success manager. So that means the marketing department's client is actually the client success manager. And the client success managers have to put pressure on the marketing department to give them the deliverables that they need to ensure that the client is successful. You want these departments to be able to communicate across to each other. And the only way to do that is to create a hierarchy that it's really clear in everybody's head. This is who serves who in the company. Not They're not your boss. This is just who the client is.